Your voice, your opinion, your community. Fact TV, free speech, protected. To uh, the, I believe this is the twelfth episode. It is number twelve. Yeah, of uh, uh, Midnight Media's show. This movie sucks. Most importantly, it's the second episode that I am in. Yep, yep. Special guest star, uh, Power Bottom. Uh, <laughs> uh, uh, what was, uh, illustrious Power Bottom. Thank, Thank you, you. Sir. Yes, illustrious yes. Power Bottom. Uh, yeah. So thanks for watching. Um, yesterday we watched. Uh, a Warhammer 40k movie. <laughs> Take us off. Uh, the story, uh, well, Ultra Ultramarines is the is the name of the film. Uh, film, of course, being a generous title, but it follows a squad of Ultra Ultramarines that answer a distress call from an Imperial shrine world, and a full company of Imperial fists. <laughs> what? <laughs> a full company of Imperial fists were stationed there, but there's no answer from them. The squad investigates to find out what has happened there. It stars Terrence Stamp, Captain Severus, John Hurt, <laughs> Chaplain Carnet, <laughs> Sean Kirk. <laughs> 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 That's crazy. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Captain Severus so I, I just assumed it was like uh, Christopher Lee who was actually like <laughs> I assumed he had that title I, you read it like you were fucking sure I have never been more confident in somebody's name in my entire life oh it was a beautiful thing Garrett it was a beautiful thing so the only thing that tipped me off is these two laughing <laughs> <laughs> So it's it's a movie about a bunch of Buzz Lightyears, <laughs> and they uh, they come then they fight. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they come to the fight. Yeah, and it, so they got to go rescue other Buzz Lightyears, but these ones are yellow. <laughs> There's a differentiation between. <laughs> and the between... yellow Buzz Lightyears are undead. And mm. bad. And not good. No. Mm. Are they uh, infected by the chaos? They, they are infected by the chaos. Yep. Yep. Wait, so what's the chaos, Garrett? This is what I wanted to tell you last night, but I couldn't think of it. Oh, so, well... It's a link to that movie. What? Not canonically, but there's that whole thing. What's that Event Horizon movie where the spaceship comes back? Yeah. And the, it brings, Buzz like, the hell, a dimension? Yeah, yeah, yeah. People theorize that the chaos from Warhammer 40k that that's actually the canonical starting event of where it came from. Yeah, so right. it's the beast yeah. from Homeworld Cataclysm. Actually, that's kind of a cool theory because technically Warhammer 40k is supposed to exist in the real world. Uh -huh. Because it's supposed to be 40,000 years in the future of this world. So we haven't made a lot of progress. Well, though. isn't it 40,000 years in the future of the Warhammer world? Yeah, but yeah. the Warhammer well, world is supposed to be our world. And well, where did the Skaven War come from? No, so that's the Warhammer lizard Age of Sigmar. That's like medieval Warhammer. And then I think Jesus. Warhammer 40k is 40,000 years into the future of the Age of Sigmar world. The Skaven are the rat army. From Listen, Age kids. Of Warhammer is one of the nerdiest single things a human being can get into. It's also and one of the most expensive hobbies a human being can get into. I a, have no savings account, and I also happen to play Warhammer. Correlation or causation? I don't know, but there is strong evidence towards the latter. Mm -hmm. But it's it's a tabletop game with miniatures, and you fight armies and battle. And yeah, they're yeah. very expensive. But you do get to customize the army, which is super yeah. sick. Yeah, and it's, it's also it's actually uh, pretty sweet. It's also awesome. It is saying. cool. No, I'm not bashing it. I have an army. <laughs> Wait, what army is it? I have, well, they're all old ones, but what elves? I have Skaven, I have some goblins. Nerd. And then I have Eldar and... Nice, good man. Um, Eldar, hot. Wait, so did you play Warhammer Age of Sigmar or did you play Warhammer 40k? Both. Well, Skaven weren't in 40k. Yeah, there's no rat race in 40k. I no. played the other, the medieval version one. Have, it was just called Warhammer. I have a box of the like <laughs> Brave Lords, but I have yet to actually build it. Get a load of this guy. <laughs> um. So, anyways, uh, the film was uh, not as cool as the game. I hope not. 
it was <laughs> mid as heck as the as young game would say yeah um Warhammer 40k is awesome. I've been really getting into the lore a lot. Um, there's some great lore videos on YouTube. It's cool. And yeah. West Hammer the, is really good. Yeah, the books are really awesome. Um, what was I just telling you about that uh, the machine? The... Dreadnought. You guys know anything about the Dreadnoughts in Warhammer? Are they Space Marine? So basically when a Space Marine dies or they get really close to dying yeah. it's really hard to kill a space yeah it was like, really goddamn easy in that film <laughs> that was it's also really goddamn easy in the lore for everything else like necrons and stuff i think he's trying to say that space marines are really tough but compared to everything else yes oh. yeah so i can't kill a space marine but you john cannot. wick can yeah no. john wick would probably get that john wick but marine. if he was an ancient metal alien what about the master chief master he chief? might have a shot he, yeah he might be a Luke skywalker no he's a... oh come on come maybe, on maybe but anyways no, um, i was trying to steer no. towards some nerdy stuff i actually know <laughs> no well like the thing is, is Luke Skywalker is just a Grey Knight without the armor, because the Grey Knights are psychers, meaning they can essentially tap into the magic. It's it's chaos, but psychers. they can tap into the warp and essentially cast magic. That's but, really yeah. interesting. Psych. So, like, take Luke Skywalker, <laughs> genetically modify him to be, like, Sean Connery's idea of a man. Someone that knows when a woman deserves the backhand. <laughs> yes. Amen, brother. No, 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 no. <laughs> That's just how Sean Connery fe well, felt. So, oh. not me. We don't like women. <laughs> Good man. All right. All right. So I will say though, uh, in the in the film that we watched, Ultramarines. All oh, right, the film. They gave a. <laughs> Terrible, terrible representation of space marines. Um, and it wasn't just that the animation was bad. Like, I'll say that right off the bat. I was excited to watch a Warhammer movie, but the animation in this... I mean, what this came out in 2010. It, there are shorts on YouTube done by independent creators that What's are far better quality animation. Astartes, or whatever it's called? Mm -hmm. Astartes is yeah. uh, the name of, like, space marines. Like, no, but it's yeah, no, but a it's show. also a, a short, like, a fan oh, yeah, 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 that yeah, yeah. actually looks yeah. good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, this looks like it was made in like 2002. Like I was going to say 2004. <laughs> was it actually? Was what I thought. It that was made in 2010. No, it was made in 2010, and it looks like garbage. Oh, say, if it was made in 2002, yeah. it's older than I am. It looks like a bad That's video terrifying. game. Like, like 2003. Yeah, it looks like a PlayStation 2 graphics. I was going to say PS1. It's okay. PlayStation they're, 2 wasn't They're not that, that polygonal, but the models used are pretty bad. Yeah, yeah. Um, and... It was so weird for me because, like, for the first, like, half of it, I was like, what is the story here? It was just, like, Space Marines walking slowly. So it wasn't just me. It wasn't just me. It was kind of, it just went around and blasted yeah. stuff. And they took about 10, 15, generously 20 minutes of story <laughs> and stretched it up to an hour 10. 16. Hour 16 was the length, but that includes the credits. Oh, uh, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, it Which really did not felt like a fan project yeah. or something. But that's weird to say, because fan projects have been done that are way better quality. It felt like it was made for little kids who didn't care about a plot yeah, line. it was extremely gory. Yeah. It, yeah but like, for little kids? How little? <laughs> I would have like, let my SCO. son watch it. It didn't look real. Yeah, it was, I mean, it was nothing movie. compared to today's video games. What do you think was gorier, this movie or Repo? Oh, Repo, definitely. Repo. But yeah. this movie was CGI, so it was like... Well, some of Repo. There were a few cool shots. I will say, speaking of cool shots, at uh, 20 minutes in, um, they're in this, like, hovercraft that they're using on the planet that never gets used again. I thought that was odd. Which was weird, because they, like, get attacked, but nothing happens to the hovercraft. We never see that gun get fired. No. He's but, just like, you're on the gun, and we never see him yeah, or the gun again. Yeah, <laughs> But the coolest part about it is that the Space Marine in front he like they're getting shot at and he doesn't do anything and just tanks a bullet to the chest he's just like blink yeah, he <laughs> do that a few times yeah. but then later so later like, they get killed in one shot yeah yeah it was really bad yeah and not like it misses their armor and goes around or something it just goes through mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and i was like oh well this is where they're gonna get all their you know they're gonna get some cybernetics and mm -hmm. all that stuff 
because Jack was, oh yeah, it's crazy, all the, the cloning and genetic stuff. And I'm like, no, he's just dead. Yeah. He's just dead. Yeah. Well, yeah, and all the space marines were just like old dudes under their helmets. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and like, I get them. Some Two of them are like older general guys, but like, aren't they supposed to be like beefy, roided out? They can live to be 10,000 yeah, years old. They're often pretty old because they have a really, like... No, they're not. Hey, it's pretty good. 10,000 looking like... They age. usually die before they get to be old. <laughs> well, no, but, like, like they'll look... They all have gray hair and stuff because they're actually, like, 400 years old. Right. But uh, they weren't beefy. They had skinny necks. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm going to say your grandchildren won't... Yeah. <laughs> it's problematic. Yeah. I want yeah. some dudes with, like, you know, yeah, juggernauts. No. They were, uh, and they were that long? a little turkey neck to me. Sure. Yeah. Um, no, you're not gonna have kids? I can. It was. <laughs> yeah. Are you asking the boy? Does, he's too know. young, he doesn't know yet. It was unfortunate because it was like. Uh, I was, I've been watching so much Warhammer lore lately, I was, I was raring to go to get into some, like, some beefy 40k nonsense, and then it's just like. Let's watch some Buzz Lightyear's walk around the planet. And then the worst part is, you finally get some action, and it's so choppy and badly animated that you can't tell what's going on half mm. the time. You... The coolest part was when, uh, spoilers, I guess, does it matter? Um, <laughs> what are we spoiling? Well, I'm about to. Uh -huh. Is when, uh, what's his name there? Captain Severus. Mm -hmm. John Hurt. <laughs> <laughs> the actor or the character? No, Captain Severus. That's his name, sir. <laughs> Captain Severus John Hurt. Comes back from the dead after falling out that window with the demon. Mm -hmm. And they don't realize that he's been, I don't know, infected with the chaos. I'm not really familiar with the lore. Yeah. And he's actually, like, kicking ass. Mm -hmm. And he's the only one that can. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty cool. It turns out it wasn't even him. Right? I'm yeah. like, oh man, they, they really need their captain. I mean, no? space marines that get infected with chaos and become chaos space marines do become like roided up, but roided up people. He doesn't become a chaos space marine. He just it becomes a demon. Like it's a demon who... Oh, uh, eventually. Like possession. Well, he like takes off the face of the space marine and wears it. Because then later he's like, I need a new face. Yeah. I was under the impression they were becoming Chaos Space Marines, but that would be an actually decent plot line. In the beginning of the transformation, <laughs> that would have been sweet. He had this giant head and upper body and tiny legs, and it reminded me of <laughs> like Joshua Morelli. <laughs> Do you remember? This may sound strange, but the Scooby Doo movie, the one with uh, I might. Sarah Michelle Geller and Freddie Prince Jr. and Never Matthew saw Dillard. It. Masterpiece. What was the villain? Well, it was Mr. Bean, whatever his name is, but eventually you learn that it's <laughs> spoilers for freaking Scooby Doo, I guess. <laughs> that, that it's actually Scrappy Doo, and he starts absorbing these souls, that. and he ends up with this giant oh, head. Yeah. And legs, and that's all I could I think about. I do remember because that. Because everyone hated Scrappy Doo. Yeah, that's why they made yep. it. Like, yes. For good reason. Scrappy Doo is the unwatchable Scrappy Doo episodes. Oh, oh man. I, I thought they were okay. <laughs> I mean, I named my guitar Scrappy. God, Garrett. Just don't associate it. We only it. let you on this episode so you could talk about Warhammer. <laughs> well, <laughs> your mom. Played my, Warhammer. She plays Warhammer. She plays Warhammer. Oh. Ooh. Oh. Um, but <laughs> I think everyone has a mom here. Josh has two. Josh. <laughs> two true. moms? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not everyone, Jack. <laughs> Not everyone. Um. Oh man, there was something specific I was gonna talk about in the movie too, but it like it all just kind of blurs together because it was so. I, I don't I don't want to just keep saying mid, but it was just like they literally the first forty five minutes of the movie they land on a planet and just walk in a straight line and it then was, walk backwards. It was less than mid. It was just meh. Yeah. It doesn't even. It can't. There wasn't money in the budget. It doesn't the rank a delta on the X end. No. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Top Gun Maverick one time. Wait, are we actually reviewing a movie that we think sucks? <laughs> yeah. Woo! I don't, so don't want to say bad things because I know that director Martin Pick. Oh, so we're gonna get another message. Related to it. No, <laughs> and I, I don't want it to be like a, a Barry J. Gillis type deal. Where I'm like, it was, I was really hard on you. I can tell you the trends. But it, it was bad. I didn't care for it. And the worst part is that they had John Hurt. I mean, right. a lot of these guys, I know you guys don't recognize the names. Captain but... Severus John. <laughs> <laughs> 
But like Wait. um Sean Pertley, like he's a famous actor, you know? He's really good. He's one of those faces that you would recognize if you saw him. Oh hmm. my god. But um like you, you Yeah, so it's got a lot of those actors, you know what I mean? Who, Where did the script come from? The story? I, that I have no idea. I've never heard of this director before. It legit oh, so I just told me that Captain Separus and John Hurt are two different names. I didn't realize that's what you were saying. What did you think we were joking about? They're not two names I, anymore. I thought you were saying Terrence Stamp played Captain Severus John Hurt. So I thought that Captain <laughs> Severus John Hurt was an actor. Wait a second. So John <laughs> Hurt plays Chaplain Carnat. <laughs> no, because so I read it as Terrence Stamp plays Captain Severus John I Hurt, I and, I, and then Chaplain Carnat uh, John Hurt he looks plays like he Brother maybe Proteus. Was a, uh... <laughs> Bond guy? You don't get to read these Dog soldiers. You don't get to of course, them. Josh was, Josh would like that movie. Is there a dog in the name? <laughs> oh, it's a bunch of B-list horror. You can't you can't oh, he was in a bit. Wait a minute. Sean Pertwee was in Event Horizon. Yes! Yes! See, it all comes together, baby. Uh -huh. This fan it theory all comes really together. I'm on it. Uh, I'm solving I'm gonna say, this. I'm gonna say uh fan theories connected. No, you need to say confirm and slap a big thing on like Mythbusters. Yeah. yeah. Confirm. Myth busted. Or I don't know. <laughs> Myth busted. We're gonna get yeah. sued. Uh, um, you guys wanna rate this steamy pile? Uh, no. Uh, <laughs> Jesus. Uh yeah, I guess we'll go from right to left. We went left to right last time. Right? Garrett can't rate it. Yes, um, I can. Why can't he? Didn't he not watch you it? You shush up, because I watched it. <laughs> I would... I didn't watch it this morning, but I did watch it. I would say... Um, or will watch it. I, mean, I, I, would, I, would, four, I would say that uh, 4.5. That'd be my rating. Interesting. All right. I'd say um, there were some cool concepts. I liked a lot of the uh, the gore effects were pretty neat when they went and went into it. Um, I there was like a couple scenes that were pretty cool, but like there was just I guess one thing I respected is that they didn't have a lot to work with, so they didn't try to make it longer than it like than an hour and ten. You it know, sounded like they had a twenty page script. Yeah, and that's what I'm saying. Some people stretch out a 20 page script to like a two hour movie. No, they who? You ever what? seen Avatar 2? Have like you water? ever seen things? <laughs> hey, don't be mad dogging my man Mary J. Mary J. Gillis. Mary J. Gillis. My man Maury Povich Gillis. <laughs> Maury Povich. Um, yeah, no. Uh, Garrett, what would you give it? Um, I would rather watch the B movie again. This isn't a good fella. This is a bad fella. <laughs> Why doesn't someone just step on this little creep? <laughs> you know, according to science, there's no actual way that a bee should be able according to According to all known laws of aviation. There we go. No way that a bee should be able to lift its tiny little body off the ground. Is this true? Have you ever watched the Josh, movie? Josh, don't. I've never watched the movie, you, but it's a, he, it's a meme. The entire script gets out right into the bait. You guys haven't seen the B movie? I've Why never not? seen the B movie. I'm okay with talking shit about Jerry Seinfeld. <laughs> Mr. Powerbottom, you need to sit your butt back down here. Okay. You keep cutting the illustrious out of his name, see how he feels about that. <laughs> I can't believe. I know, it's like calling someone John Hurt. All right. John Hurt's name's John Hurt. No, it's Severus. Captain no, Severus. There we go. <laughs> Captain Severus. That's John not even Hurt. who John Hurt played. <laughs> Speaking of which, Chaplin Karnak, he has that one, that little, like he's just standing there while they're getting rushed by the Chaos Marines. They weren't Chaos Marines. Okay. <laughs> I thought Jack, they were. What the hell are you wearing? <laughs> what do you mean? You look like a bee. <laughs> You guys talk about B movie. According to all known laws of aviation, Jack shouldn't be able to lift his fat rump off the ground. <laughs> fat I can fly. You're admitting it. You've seen me fly. I've seen your rump leave the ground. Oh, Jesus. Anyway, Enough rump talk. Rate the movie. He said at one point to these not chaos marines, whatever they are. Yeah, why were some of them just bad? He was like, burn. And he held up this thing. No, he said, uh, um,. Oh god, it's not like sacrilege, it's a word like that. Like a synonym for sacrilege. Blasphemy? Scrotum. 
<laughs> Sacrilege. Yeah. Um, Sacrificialist. Sac. It was something like, like blasphemy, burn, blasphemous, something like that. Whatever. The point yeah. is. Yeah. Yeah. Heretic. 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 Yes. Heretic. Heretic. Yeah. 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 I read. I'm carrying that. That's strong. a melee weapon in the game. Melee? 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 You can pronounce it both oh, ways. Uh, really? And he used it at short range. That doesn't make sense. Did you guys watch the movie with subtitles on? I turned them on during the last half because someone was getting a little talkative, but there wasn't a whole lot to miss. <laughs> no, uh, except for one line, the most beautiful subtitled line in the movie. Oh, because they were auto-generated. Yeah, yeah. Uh, do you remember where, um, when he first, they get on the ship before he finds out that the, the captain's a demon, and uh, he's talking about how... Um, and yeah, we, we need to sniff out this taint I mean, to I find it. How do you recognize the taint? We have a chaplain with us. Let him sniff out taint. Taint? What? Yeah, they're talking about we. Oh, yeah. We, oh, yeah. Sniff the taint? I think I, I didn't title shut up about that forever. On my YouTube, where I was watching it, said we need to sniff his you taint. You switched to YouTube? Yes. And that's what the <laughs> subtitles say. We need to sniff his taint. <laughs> and You're going to have to get a screen grab of that. <laughs> the best part of the film. <laughs> well, I wrote it down in my notes. It was so funny. You need to go out of your way, find the screen grab, and when I edit... We I want a meme in. of that. <laughs> I'm going to start just dropping that on Twitter. We, we need, need to, to sniff his taint. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what the... I'm pretty sure the actual line was like, how do you find the taint? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Which wasn't, isn't it, a whole lot better. Right. Anyway, I'll give it a 3.6. It's on par with, uh, you know that G.I. Joe movie? It was all animated with like Storm Shadow and... Wait, you know, uh, 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 the mm -hmm. one with, what's the one with the, the, uh, the guinea pigs? Um, Hamtaro? No, no. <laughs> uh, G Force. Yeah, that yeah. was a great movie. I, I once it. got into an argument with somebody about whether or not the uh, the female guinea pig was attractive. Jesus Christ! I already know what side of the argument you were on. My argument was that the personality of the guinea pig. <laughs> the guinea pig itself was a guinea pig, and I do not condone sleeping with animals because they can't consent. No, sir. But what about and anthropomorphic animals like Lola Bunny? What? She's That'll be a discussion for another episode. <laughs> oh my god, I'm going to hell. <laughs> Jesus. Alright. I give it a 2. <laughs> we skipped Jason! He said 3.6. I didn't give it a number. And then we went off in the weeds about Lola Bunny. Alright, Jason, did you say 3.6? I said 2.8. Oh. And you know what? I'd like to change it to 1.4. Why? Listen, I wouldn't recommend this. I wouldn't watch it again. <laughs> I don't think it would hold my son's attention. <laughs> I mean, no, because there's so much walking. Jack? Which is probably... Uh, uh, like a 2.5, right in that range. I feel like it, they didn't... I don't know. It just wasn't cohesive. Yeah, and, uh, I yeah. have it uh, a three. I also really like Warhammer. And Warhammer 40k, the whole year. so I mean, it's kind of a letdown, but yeah, there's I, I really Warhammer. hope Henry Cavill does the does the universe justice because he's oh, yeah, they're making a movie, that? they're making a movie, I think somewhere. they're making a show, a show. Like, I think he's heading a show now that he's not with uh, The Witcher, yeah, I didn't hear that, but with all the work he put into The Witcher and also Henry Henry Cavill. Cavill and stuff, yeah, so with that, uh, hold on, oh, one guy wore like the constitution as a loincloth, that oh, was pretty yeah, cool. that was the best part. That was the best part. That was pretty good. It was funny. like the Bill of Rights over Jimmy. <laughs> and in the beginning and the end, Lord was the music obnoxious. It was so loud. Was it just was like, it? it was just like rock music, right, the whole time? I thought it was orchestral or something. Yeah. It wasn't good. It was. Uh, I blocked oh, it out. Oh, yeah, I did too. Yeah. Well, uh, with that, guys, I guess um, that's our review of. Warhammer 40k. Thanks for uh, tuning in. I wouldn't recommend watching it. <laughs> I didn't watch it. I BS this whole thing because I like Warhammer. Ha, I got you. you. You got fooled. You didn't miss anything. Potentially there are <laughs> other Warhammer movies that are better than this one. Well, good luck convincing you to watch one. And this Henry Cavill show would, would be cool. Cavill? Whatever his name is. I don't know. I'm done here. With the show. So have a good night. I'm shutting this down. Love my the show's over. Henry Cavill. I'm the owner and operator of this damn show.